hello guys welcome back to my channel today's video we'll be looking at how to draw and um, split tones on the psr s750 psr s750 and then we'll also look at other functions of the of the keyboard this particular keyboard so before I continue with the video, kindly do all to click the subscribe button, like the video, and then share the other videos as well. So that when I post, you will be notified quickly to get onto the channel to see the content. So this is a Yamaha PSR 750, a PSR 750. With the PSR um, E463, which I I used to um, make videos with it had the the dual and then the split button there so you just press it and then you select the tones that you want to either draw or split but with this one we have um part select right we have left here and we have right one and then right two and under this we have upper and we have two buttons here we have um left two here and we have left hood so i'll talk about how to use all so first of all if you want to you want to split let's let's do the draw first if you want to draw on this keyboard now our our tone is piano grand piano that's what is here grand piano so this is the grand piano that's the tool we have active now now if you want to draw meaning we want to put um two tones um together so that when we play um the the note or the key we hear two tones combined either piano and strings piano and pad it could be any, it could be anything at like ep and and trumpet However, you want to you want to combine the tones that will be in your own interest depending on what you want to play. So first of all, since we have a um, grand piano here, it means that's our our tune. Uh, uh, let's, let's check something here. See, we have right one, right one, and we have right two. So currently, this is right right one. So the piano is at right one. We can hear right one if you want to dual it it means we have to get a tone at what right two there's already a tune at right two which is this concert string so i'll change it to let's say um, let's say synth strings two yeah so it means yes so once uh, i've activated this right two let me deactivate it listen so when i deactivate it it means we only have the um right one which is the piano but once i i activate this one it means the strings will come with the piano so we have draw the two tones we draw the two tones That will be um, that for the dual. So first of all, we have, as I said, we have right one and right two, right one and right two here. So right one is the tone at default when you turn it on. So it will be on grand piano. So if you want to draw a grand piano with another tone, you just come to right um, two. You look for right two. Put your 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 tone there the tone you want to put at right two and then just come and activate it here once this one is off it's only piano once you add this one then the strings come and then with this you can control the the volume you can control the volume of the respective tones so do we have right one right two right one being piano right two being strings when you come here as you can see balance mixing con console channel on and off so let's go to mixing console 
so when i came to mexican console you can see that we have left hand we've not we've not gone to uh, go to the left yet because the left hasn't been activated here right left hasn't been activated here but when you come here you see left here you see right one and right two you see the song style and impact so now that we have right one and right two if i want to reduce the strings this is right two so this will be for increasing the volume you see it's going to 104 105 106 and this will be for decreasing it so when i want to bring the strings down for instance i'm i've brought the strings to 26 so the strings will be lower it's not even significant let me increase it a bit right two sorry huh. so so if you want the strings a little bit lower you just you just um use it and then know how to manage your volume likewise if you want to control the piano it's on it's on right one if you want the piano to to sorry right one if you want the piano to come down so that the strings will move up you do it that way and then you have the you have the piano just a little uh, let me increase it a, a little in the background the strings is too high we, we cannot hear you have the piano just a little in the background yeah so now so you can do it you can just select uh, your convenient tunes and then and then use them for right one and right two and you draw it so i'm just i'm bringing it back to right one and deactivating right two yes so now if i want to split right i want to split that's when i'll use the the left here so when i press left left here you realize that let me select an old tone let's say trumpet so that we can appreciate it so i've selected trumpet and it is at voice left so now let's see something oh i've not activated it so i have to activate it so this is left right i have to press it to activate it so after pressing it whatever i've placed in uh, in left under the voice should appear at the left side here so so you see we have trumpet tune on the left side here so it gets to this portion then the right continues from this portion so the piano which is already on the right is still here but then i have my trumpet on my on my left hand yeah so this is how we we split it so with the with the with the dual the left will not be important you just focus on the right so right one select your tune there then you act it's already activated it. then you come to right two when you come to right two you select your tune and then you you activate it so now you have right one and right two playing at the same time but if you want to if you want to split you you focus on the left because you want to put two separate tunes there so you come to left here you select any tune as i've selected trumpet activate the left here you have your trumpet on your left then from this side you have your your right which is your piano So that's it. You 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 select your, your convenient tunes for your left and then your convenient tunes for your right and then you split. Also, um I think yeah, this keyboard has the transpose here. Yeah, transpose here. So I I'm done with this the split and the draw. This keyboard has its transpose here and it's already been here. So we have transpose zero and we have V octave. So with the with the transpose if if i am in key keys let's say i'm in key e flat sorry and then i can only play key f right so it means i would like to play key e flat as key f so i, I count one two right one two and then do plus two one two am i doing the right thing um i 
I think I'm even confused about how to use the transpose. It's a long time I used it. Okay, so it's rather minus two, rather minus two, yeah, minus two. And so to the left will be minus, to the right will be plus, I think. So if I'm if I'm in E flat, E flat, and I want to play it in key F, I count to E flat, it is one, two, and then it's minus two. So this is now this is now E flat, but I'm playing it in key F. If I want to do the same thing in um for instance, if I'm playing in key B flat, key B flat, and I want to play it in F, or the song is in B flat, and I want to play it in F, it means I'll count the number of notes between one, two, three, four, five. And then I I push the transpose to plus five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And then my F, my key F now becomes um, technically key B flat. So I think that will be all for this video. We learned about how to use um, the left, the right, one right two for dual and then for split. And then we also looked at the transpose here, how to transpose. So if you are you are in a key and then you are referencing from the key on, uh, from the left, for instance C sharp, and I want to play it in F, and I'm counting to the left, it will be minus one, two, three, four. But if I'm in, if I'm in, for instance, key A, and I want to play it in key F, I'll count it to the, to the, I'll count it, sorry, from key F rather to key, key A flat, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, which will be plus 4. So if I'm counting from F to a key below F, it will be minus. To a key above F, it will be plus. And it can be any key. If it is key A flat, that you know how to play. And then you want to play key F, in key A flat, you count it down one, two, three, which will be minus three. If you want to play key B in key A flat, you count it forward one, two, three, which will be plus three. So I think that will be all for this video. Thank you for watching this video.